thirds uh, in a easy way i want you guys to listen very very carefully okay now listen to this very carefully according to your national accounting there are three approaches starting with output approach input approach and expenditure approach so when you know how to do output approach the same answers will be representing the expenditure approach when you know the expenditure approach the same answer will be representing for income approach so i'm going to teach you how to do this three type of approaches in just simple formulas it won't even take 10 minutes for me to explain but if you listen it to, to this very carefully it's going to be very easy you might see in output approach output is the number of productions a, a country makes uh, most of the time it's gdp approach we can say gdp approach so output approach takes certain uh, sectors like primary secondary and tertiary those three sectors uh, values should be added first you might have agriculture forestry fishery manufacturing mining and quarrying construction wholesale and retail transportation storage accommodation information and communication real estate professional service public administration defense education health and uh, human health and health social activities so adding all this primary industry secondary industry and tertiary industries value you will get something called gross value added at basic price this is how your output approach starts to make the move but if you have your basic price you need to convert your basic price into market price how do you convert your gba into gdp that's the formula actually applies here you need to take indirect taxes add your indirect taxes these values they will give you in an exam so you don't want to worry about it take your indirect taxes add with gb at basic price and deduct the subsidies you will get gdp at market price easy as possible what you need to do guys you take all your industries agriculture which is your primary industry you took your industry secondary industry and tertiary industry you added all together you got your gb at basic price then you if you wanted to uh, make it as gdp at market price you added indirect taxes and subsidies finally you got gdp at market, market price from here onwards you can make gdp as gnp or gnp as nnp or gdp uh, like uh, how do we take nnp to gdp all these things I, i'm going to teach you under the approach called expenditure approach the same format is going to apply for all these three type of format from gdp at market price onwards which i'm going to do in uh, expenditure approach the same format you need to carry if you are doing for output approach or for income approach then moving on to the gde approach you must see here uh, the private consumption expenditure plus government consumption expenditure plus the investments and changes in stock when you add all this four together you get gde at factor price but in earlier when you got factor price at gb at factor price you took indirect taxes deducted subsidies to get gdp at market price but here you don't do that you take exports you add and you deduct your imports when you add your exports and you deduct your imports you get gde at market price now when they ask in exams giving you an expenditure approach find out the uh, gdp at market price you might think oh why examiner has given expenditure approach why is he asking a uh, production approach as i said gdp is equal to gde gd is equal to gdi all three are same so if you find gd at market price you can the answer is similar to gdp at market price and gdi at market price so the moment you find gd at market price you can just say gde at gde at market price is equal to gdp at market price which means the amount above is the same to gdp at market price that's how you represent now when i say change you see this g i'm going to zoom a bit guys to have a overall look on what i'm going to explain you you to have a good knowledge when you're doing this particular sum now you might see this g which i'm having my cursor i'm going to change this g into uh, n this d into n the moment i'm making this d you see this d guys this d this particular d i'll uh, show you in this way yeah if i'm going to speak about this particular d if i'm going to make this g into n what i need to do i need to do one particular thing that is the net foreign factor income if i want to change from gde to gne i take the net foreign factor income received minus net foreign factor income paid if it is plus i add it if it is minus i deduct it here i have given a plus sometimes it can become a deduction also as per the questions they give so when i convert it i get gne at market price similar then now i want to change this g this g, you see this my cursor g into n now i got g n e at market price now i need to make n n e at market price let me explain you guys then of course i'll be uh, explaining you entire thing properly so n n e at market price says that if i am going to deduct the depreciation from g n e at market price 
I did have the depreciation. I get this G to change into N. That's how we get NNE at market price. So NNE at market price is equal NNP at market price, or also we said as NNI at market price. So with that same knowledge, I'm going to move on to my income approach, the similar one. See, so you see that how easy it is guys to calculate. I'm going to move on to the uh, income approach, but I'm going to start only the starting phase is different in all other things. In the first one, we learn on the first output approach, we learn gross value added at factor price. We changed it into GDP at market price. Then we learn on the second approach, expenditure approach, we got GDE at factor price, we changed into market price. But when we uh, change from output approach to market price, what did we do? We added the uh, indirect taxes and deducted the subsidies. But when we went to the uh, in expenditure approach, we changed the factor price into market price by adding export and deducting imports. Then when we moved on to uh, income approach, we, get, we, don't, we are also getting a different figure. We get NDI at factor price. So you take employment income, you take rent income, you take self-employment income, you take profit earned by business sector and interest income. So these are the five components of income. In exams, they can ask what are the five components of income. This five components of income is very important for you guys to remember. Then when you compare, when you add all these five components, you get NDI at factor price. What is NDI? Net domestic income at factor price. If I want to change this N, as I said guys, if I want to make from G to N, I deduct depreciation. If I need to dialogue connection is so bad, I will ensure this will not happen tomorrow. I'll ensure to top of my Airtel uh, coverage. Don't worry, guys. This video has been recorded, so we'll get a complete understanding of what you have learned. If anything uh, is stable, if the connection is lagging, don't worry. As the video is getting recorded, you will get the complete information. So just uh, listen to this, whatever you can listen. Whatever you have missed, no problem. I'll explain if you guys don't understand. So as I said, there are five types of income you need to add. If you add employment income, rent income, self-employment income, profit earned by business sectors and interest income, you get NDI at factor price. To change NDI at factor price, what you need to do to change from N to G, you need to add your depreciation. Earlier on the expanded approach from G to N when I went, GDE at uh, market price to GNI at uh, when I went to NDI at market price, NNI at uh, NNE at market price, I actually added the deducted the depreciation. When I really want to change this N to G, I want to add the depreciation. When I want to go back to N, G to N, then of course I need to deduct the depreciation. The same formula applies. Then I have here taken to factor cross price to make it market price. Again, I need to take the indirect taxes and add the subsidies. Only in, in, only in expenditure approach, you take the exports and imports to make the factor cost price into market price. But in income approach and output approach, you take the indirect taxes, deduct subsidies in order to make it as market price. Now, when I want to make it as G, this D convert into N. Now I'll show you how it works. Yeah, let me erase it. The so, same formula, guys. If you see here, that's it. Okay, if I'm gonna take the same thing, the G, I'm going to change this D into N. If I'm going to change, I'm going to take the net foreign factor income received and deduct the net foreign factor payment. And you will get the net foreign factor income, foreign factor income received minus foreign factor income paid. So the actual balance, if it is plus, you should make plus. If it is deduction, you should deduct. Then of course, you will get G and I at market price. Simple as that. Know the formulas. The same formula is going to apply for everything. Then if you want to get G and D, I gross national disposable income is an additional thing under income approach. You need to add your current transfers. It can be the plus or minus. You will get G and D, I at market price. When you are doing the calculation, you will actually understand how it will be uh, easy to calculate. I've given more formulas for you guys to know national accounting. Personal disposable income, you take GDP minus taxes plus transfers. When you take government savings, take net government revenue minus government purchases. Taxes, you take income minus disposable income. Budget deficit, you take government purchase minus taxes. Government purchases, you take taxes plus budget deficit. Personal savings, you take disposable personal income minus private consumption. This is all national accounting. Know the formulas we can do together in future. So did you all understand guys how this uh, national accounting actually works? Some some sort of understanding. And when you are doing past people, you'll understand. Please know the formulas. There are only 15 to 16 formulas. Very easy guys. Know the formulas. 
we're going to crack the thing. You see that the way of conversion, how did we do? G2, uh, when I converted this factor cost to market price, I just added the indirect taxes deducted the subsidies. When I went from D to N, I just added the net foreign factor. When I went to N to G, I added the depreciation. The same thing applies here also. You see, when I change this, I'm changing the G, the values. You see, G to N, uh, when I went to um, D to N, I just added net foreign factor income. When I went from G to N, then of course I had deducted the depreciation. The formula is going to be the same. It is a uh, very simple for you guys to understand. What you need to do is just practice this formula. This particular formula is there for all the 10 years of past paper. Not a single past paper will be hard if you know all these formulas. 